Before watching this video, I would highly recommend watching my previous video where I show how to set up LED with the Canakit. And this is a follow up to that video. At the end of that video, I showed a video of three LEDs blinking like this. So this is what I'm going to show in this video, how the blink thing works, the source code behind it. Okay, first we're going to just set up one LED like I did in my last video. So I'm going to fast forward this process so you guys don't need to see the same thing again. So just set up uh, an LED like I did in my last video. All right, so let's get started. So I'm using PuTTY to remote access my Raspberry Pi or SSH my Raspberry Pi. Uh, so let's get it set up. If you guys don't remember, I created a directory called Take That Interest. So we're gonna go to that directory because that's where all the files uh, are. So ls, uh, there's on.py and off.py. So let's make a new Python file, call it blink.py name it whatever as long as it has the extension .py you will be fine so nano to edit that file so nano blink.py if you watched my last video you should be familiar with uh, the couple the first few lines I guess so import rpi.gpio as gpio standard uh, we're importing the apis for gpio import time that's actually new we need to have this for blink so import time that's important gpio.setmode, gpio.bcm, standard stuff, uh, gpio.set warnings, again, it's optional, but I recommend it because when you run the program, if you don't have that line, it will uh, show up on the terminal uh, about the warning and stuff like that. So gpio.setup, 17, and we're doing gpio.out, same as last time. So the only different thing that we have is import time. So let's get started. The looping system that we'll use is while loop. And I have while true, so that just starts the loop uh, without, I guess this is not the best way to start a loop, but it will do. I mean, I know some people will not be happy how I started the loop while true instead of using like while start or something else, but oh well, it, it will do. So gpio.output 17 and then comma gpio.hide, that means it's gonna be on. And then we're going to do time.sleep. Uh, let's put one. So now it's going to be turned on, and then it, the program will wait a one second. And then gpio.output 17, comma gpio.low. This will turn off the LED. And then let's add another line call and put time.sleep one second. So now it's going to turn on the LED, wait one second, turn off the LED, wait one second, and then do it again, again, do it infinite time, basically. So let's save the program and run it and see how that looks. All right, so here is the result. It blinks very slowly. We can actually change that. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's do that right now. But as you guys can see, the program is working right now. You can use control C to end the program and let's go back and edit the file so we can uh, make the LED blink faster. So nano blink.py. So let's go ahead and change time.sleep change from 1 to 0.2. So it will blink every 0.2 seconds. So 0.2. Point two, and then let's change the other one to point 0.2 as well. So now the LED will turn on, time sleep point 0.2 and then turn off and then turn back on. So let's run the program again and show you the result. So now it blinks faster. So let's add more LEDs. This might be a bit confusing, but just try to understand. So let's add another LED and then connect it to a, not a different GPIO port. So instead of 17, we're going to connect it to 27. So like that, it's not connected to the same GPIO. So it's now connected to 27 and let's add the resistor in. 
which should be pretty easy so I'm gonna move that move the blue LEDs resistor to that way and then connect it to right there all right let's add another LED let's make that green green LED I like it green okay so right here we go here is the green LED same thing we're gonna connect it to a different GPIO so this time we're gonna connect it to GPIO 22 so connect like that to 22 and then connect the negative side to a resistor like that so I'm gonna try to get a few different angles to show you guys uh, better so right now we're using GPIO 17, 27, and 22. So don't forget of that. And let's get a different angle. So you can pause the video if you need help, I guess. So there you go. Let's move to the computer. All right, so let's type in ls to see all the files in this directory. So touch coolblink.py that's gonna be our new file nano to edit the that file so let's go in the file again same standard stuff you should have this stuff memorized by now because you need to put this in every single program that uses GPIO so that I'm not gonna talk too much about those stuff but you do need import time so step mode uh, Broadcom and then warning to false and then oh now uh, we need to write few lines of code actually so gpio.setup 17 comma gpio.out we're using this gpio 17 gpio 17 we're also using gpio 27 so we need to put that as well before, if you guys remember, we only had one LED, so we only had one GPIO dot setup. Now that we have three LED, we need three GPIO setup line. So again, 22 because 22 is the green LED actually. All right. Now let's make the loop. So while again, while true. And then in here, we're going to first turn on the blue LED. So GPIO dot output. Uh, output 17 comma GPIO dot high so we just turned on the blue LED now we're gonna do time dot sleep point two so then it the program will wait point two seconds and then we're gonna turn off the blue LED so let's do that output 17 comma GPIO dot low and then we're gonna turn on a different LED or the red one so GPIO dot output 27 comma GPIO dot high so now we're turning on the red LED and then the program will wait 0.2 more seconds so time dot sleep 0.2 and then we're gonna turn off the red LED so uh, GPIO dot output 27 comma GPIO dot low and then uh, we're gonna turn on the green LED which is the third LED so let's do that uh, so I, I hope you guys understand this so now it's gonna turn on the blue LED wait two second turn off the blue LED and then turn on the red LED wait two second turn off the red LED and then turn on the green LED wait two seconds and then it's gonna do a loop of this thing again again do it infinite time on or if only you press control C it will end the program so GPIO dot output we're gonna turn off the green LED so this uh, if you're not understanding this pause the video and just think about what's going on and you should be able to figure this out so let's go ahead and save the program and then uh, see how that works control C and then why all right let's run the program sudo python cool blink dot py you can press tab to, so it fills up you don't actually have to type in cool blink dot py but anyway let's see what's going on now 
then you will get the result that you've been waiting for all your life maybe probably not I still have two videos that I can think of that I will make about the Raspberry Pi one is the battery sorry not the battery uh, button I don't know why I thought of battery uh, button video how that works as well as an advanced Python program uh, for that as well anyway guys thank you for watching subscribe for more videos